Hey, I'm Sergeant First Class Down, born right here in Central Virginia, and um, uh, Army brought me right back home to pretty much recruit for the Army. I uh, have a lot of family that, and friends that are teachers in the area, police department, and fire department. Uh, so I have a lot of connections in the area, uh, and I'm here to help. And so one of the things I want to go over, and we're going over active duty and the Army Reserves. So depending on what route you're interested in going, um, it'll be up to you to make that decision. Uh, but first things first, we'll go over active duty. Um, you have, we have over 150 different jobs that you can choose from um, based on how you score on the ASVAB and bonuses up to $40,000. Right. You also earn the post 9-11 GI Bill, which will pretty much pay for four years of school and give you a living allowance to live off of while you're in school and then $500 each semester to help pay for books. Um, you can also do college part-time while you're at actively serving. So it's called tuition assistance. It'll pay for 16 college credits each school year. And then you can go ahead and put in for a FAFSA as well and get a grant. That's money that you don't have to worry about paying back. It also help with if you're able to handle more than 16 college credits each school year while you're actively serving full-time. Um, but we have fields of interest are military intelligence, logistics, communications, medical, combat arms, uh, and just to name a few. Um, a lot of people are actually surprised on what all the different types of jobs that are actually in the Army. Most people just want to think about you know, just combat. That's all they think about when you think of the military in general. But if you actually take a good look, you actually see that most of the jobs are not combat. Um, but if that's what you're interested in, I'm sure we'll find a job that you definitely are interested in, and then know we have. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go over the reserves real quick. Um, you can get bonuses up to $20,000 in the reserves. Um, we have about 120 different jobs in the reserves. One thing that's real big that a lot of people take an interest to, that there's actually no combat jobs in the Army Reserves. Uh, you can help pay for college by utilizing tuition assistance which is just like the active duty side, 16 college credits each school year, which is like $4,000. Um, one of the big benefits, because once you're serving, the tuition rates drop for the universities to $250 a credit hour for your undergrad. Um, so that goes across the entire time you're in college. You also have student loan payment program from $30,000, dollars to $50,000 in the student loan payment program. So if you get a loan, make sure it's a federal student loan, um, not a private. And um, but with the reserve, you serve one week in a month and two, three weeks in the summertime. So it's really helpful so you can really concentrate in your studies. Or even if you're looking into a trade, you can do the same thing. And a lot of people will just stay in it uh, and double dip when they retire. So, um, all right, so I did a quick warm and fuzzy on the two different routes that you can pretty much take with either active duty or reserves. So one thing I want to get into right now is like, you know, after high school, you don't know exactly what you want to get into. Some of y'all might you know exactly what you want to do. For instance, my mindset when I was in high, a senior in high school was that I wanted to go to school to become an architect. Um, so I actually went to community college to get on my undergrad or general studies done, and then I was going to transfer. I also worked one of my jobs I worked for as a drafter and realized like how much their workload was and taking it, I mean, just, I just ended up changing my mind, long story short. And so, with that being said, I didn't know what I wanted to get a degree in. And I was hired to work in two, three jobs, trying to pay for college. So I was like, well, I'll look to the Army as a way to, you know, get that experience, uh, get away for a little bit, and, you know, I have more time to really figure out what degree program I actually wanted to go towards. Um, but I ended up liking being in the Army and I decided to make a, make a career out of the Army. Uh, so that's always an option as well. But if you're definitely a person that you have no clue what college you want to go to, what degree program you want to go to, get into, definitely look, you know, just you know, join the Army. You need to do a minimum of three years and you earn that post 9 11 GI Bill. That gives you an extra time to get more experience and um, you, know, you put that experience up. You more confidence, that leadership roles, and when you go into college or trade school, you hit the ground running. Again, I'm Sergeant First Class Dow. Uh, my office is off of Broad Street, close to Short Pump. 
and my contact information will be posting on the screen. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always give me a call, text, email me. I'm here to help. So look forward to talking with you.